Laser technology is playing a role in a breakthrough technique for archaeology. A technique experts say could be as important as the development of carbon dating is creating a stir in trade journals and in the mainstream science media. A LIDAR system, refined by a University of Central Florida scientist in a plan to measure the size of the Earth's biomass by counting trees from space, is now being used to reveal the extent of a buried ancient Mayan city. Biologist John Weisample says the idea is the same as flying over a tree-covered site and using light from a laser pointer to map the details of the Earth's surface, just counting the photons that get through the leaves and hit the ground. In the spring of 2009, the device was flown over the remains of the city of Caracol in western Belize, a site UCF archaeologists Diane and Arlen Chase have been excavating for over 25 years. The results were stunning. It shows the agricultural terraces. It shows the road system. It shows the settlement. And in much greater detail than we could do with on-the-ground mapping. It is a tremendous asset. I don't know how to describe the kind of an asset it is. The LIDAR allows the archaeologists to confirm previous work they've done on the ground, and it gives them leads on new places to study. This is, I think, fascinating. Uh, we didn't expect this. Uh, now, the Maya, they, they uh, looked at caves as portals to the underworld. Uh, you know, we're coming across, looking at the topography, and all of a sudden, there's a huge pit, you know, down there. And, and some of these holes went as deep as 80 meters. A lot of ground study will be needed to confirm the cave sites. Well, the success of this project may change the way tropical areas are studied. LIDAR is a necessary component now for any archaeological work. It's going to be used in all tropical areas across the world because it's the first time you can actually see what's on the ground. And the chases say it's important to use the LIDAR technology as soon as possible given the rates at which jungles are vanishing. This is Jerry Klein for UCF Reports.